Socialism is not new. It is a plague that has economically crippled some of the richest resource nations in the world. Venezuela, rich in oil reserves, is just one of the most current nations that has suffered from this economic plague that transfers goods and services to a centralized government. Argentina, Algeria, Bulgaria, Hungary, and most of Eastern Europe have tried and tested this system to the loss of their citizens. It has resulted in food shortages, hyperinflation, and a loss of personal freedoms. Individual rights are replaced with government dominance. In socialism, an elected centralized government controls the means of production whether that, rather than private companies holding ownership. This shift in economic freedom limits free market trade of goods and services and replaces it with government control. History has shown that government control of resources leads to a lack of goods, quality, and depression usually follows. According to Karl Marx, the author of the Communist Manifesto, socialism is a precursor to communism and the next logical step after capitalism. Socialist elected governments like Bulgaria were later referred to as communist nations as socialist policies progressively took effect. Why this sudden rise in popularity in American politics? Socialist politicians promise free goods and services, which tickle the ear of the constituents, but they never explain how they will intend to pay for it. They make an appealing moral stance on equality, economic security, and social justice. All of these terms sound positive, but the implementation of these principles is anything but just. It requires unjustly taking from hardworking Americans and giving to lower income earners via extremely high tax rates that will crush our national economy. It takes one democratic election to change our free market economy to a government controlled system. This socialist shift would have irreversible repercussions that will limit private business ownerships, limit personal freedoms, and give more taxpayers' money to inefficient government bureaucracies. I am Carmelita Greco, Republican candidate for the 11th Congressional District. I will stand strong against socialist policies that will limit American freedom and prosperity.